<laughs> hey everybody! Hi. <laughs> I think I think you surprised yourself when you started recording. Yeah, I think I did too. <laughs> this is uh, this is Noah from DW Dragon, and this is Sam, also from DW Dragon. Look at that. Awesome. <laughs> so today we're actually starting Resident Evil Five, a full playthrough, on normal, on normal difficulty, <laughs> because we don't I'm... want to be here any longer than we need to. Yep. Because me and him actually did this on veteran once, except we had. Unlimited ammo. Fully upgraded weapons. Except this time we're going in with absolutely none of that. Yeah. So awesome. Is everything... So we'll be fine. Everything looks fine. We'll be 100% good. We'll... Yeah, we'll be absolutely okay. Yeah. I don't remember how to actually play this game without unlimited ammo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't played it in so long. Mm. I've never... Now that you mention that, I've never played this game properly at all. <laughs> like, 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 you just came over and it's like, you want to play Resident Evil? Sure. And you were like, I got all the weapons. Oh, cool. And you'll have unlimited ammo. What? <laughs> I remember we just mowed down everything. I don't think it's going to be that easy this I th time. I think I remember, too, that when we were doing, like, the veteran mode, you were like, well, do you want to not use unlimited ammo? And I was like, nah. <laughs> we'll get wrecked if we don't. <laughs> Does, it, it turns out it makes the game very, very easy. It does, except for the, uh... There is a particular part in-game that yeah, when we get to it, we'll yeah. point it out. It's really tough, regardless of whether or not you have unlimited ammo. It, it's not fun. Yeah. There's a lot of really BS moments in this game. There's... Yeah. That's very true. <laughs> yeah. There's just... And it's not even, like, it, it is kind of, like, they're logical problems, but they're also, like, gameplay problems. Because you're like, well, this isn't fair. Yeah. And it happens a lot. I remember... A lot more than Resident Evil 4. It was really fun, because when I first played this with our buddy Connor, who's in Havel Bros. Yeah. He, uh, he was playing the game, and he goes, I don't like it that when, when you stop... the Umbrella Corporation. When you aim your gun, you just stop moving. <laughs> and I was like, Connor, it's always been that way. Yeah, it's been like that since Resident Evil 4. I don't like how gigantic Chris Redfield's face is in this game. You know, his face is the tiniest thing compared to the rest of the game. That's true. <laughs> Backtracking on okay. that. I, I, I would like to make a new statement. I don't like how big Chris is in this game. He's so big in every way. Very unrealistic. He looks like a monkey. He does. Even his ears are too big. Of yeah, <laughs> that's, that's why he looks like a monkey. But, uh, to, to quickly backtrack, we'll also probably do a playthrough for Resident Evil 6, but that will probably be me and Connor, because Connor actually loves that game. And him and me had a lot of fun with it when we, ah, when we first played it. My name is did you see that unnecessary butt shot? I did. <laughs> Your reputation precedes you, Mr. No, but we did, I... It's an honor. Just Chris. Thanks. So even who is Shiva? I I, I kind of didn't get that the first time I played this yes. game. I I don't know. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> she never shows up after this game. Really? No. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like. I wonder if the Resident Evil people looked at the game and were just like, you know what? People don't like this game because of this new character. Oh yeah, that was it. You figured it out. It certainly wasn't the fact that it's just not a Resident Evil game. Did she just call him partner? He was like, "Yeah, okay? <laughs> I had a better one once." <laughs> yeah, sorry. It's nothing. And man, this this game, the DLC, should have been part of the story to actually make this make Cash sense. Tees continue to mount over the or have oh, this make sense. Is that the part where you go to the Spencer Mansion and it's you and Jill? More yeah, more you go to the Spencer Mansion, is Chris and Jill, it's and it's literally for. the beginning of this game. Maybe one day. I'll find Why is out. it not required to play? <laughs> Because playing, they just didn't think it would be important when they put the game out in the first place. They should have thought again. <laughs> you don't have to get touchy. Because playing yeah, this... Yeah, don't play, get touchy. Playing this from the third game, you're sitting there going, what happened to Jill? There is one thing I That's do true, know. isn't it? Yeah, all they do is show you that great, and then it's just like, and I'm gonna what, see did she die of, like, lung cancer or what something? Ha what happened in, like, the four or five years between <laughs> Resident Evil 3 and this one? That's a good question. Between the four and five years, Chris was just at the gym, working out, and then <laughs> Jill had, like, a heart attack or something, yeah. and so... <laughs> they certainly didn't fight Wesker. Well, it never occurred to me what a extremely... Heavy thing that is to throw at somebody who's playing the last games. Exactly. Because, like, I didn't play this game until... You ought to start then. Like, last year... Oh, right. I hit options. That's that's what you meant. Yeah. Okay, cool. That is what I meant. 
All right, we're back. <laughs> I, I always get confused because like games like this work the way they, you know, like back in the day when the right button on your controller actually was start and not option. Yeah. Wait. What did you have to hit? It was just option. But sometimes you say uh, hit start, and I think maybe you mean like the little touchpad in the middle of the. See, I'm an Xbox addict. <laughs> nah, there's actually some games on here that actually do use the touchpad as a. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. As no, the and I think that's just kind of like a thing they started doing when they put it on the PlayStation controller, right? Hey, what do you think's in here? I guess. Somebody. <laughs> I would have said like potatoes or something, but okay. I don't know why they'd be beating the shit out of potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> to make them mashed. <laughs> Classic. Making mashed potatoes. Oh, to go with our delicious meat that we can get at the corner piney butchery. <laughs> why is that there? <laughs> at least I have the decency to put it upright. Other than just on the ground. This is a very, like, mm. fly-ridden town. Yeah, I'm starting to get the impression this town ain't nice. They might be Zambians. What happened to all the gangsters that were just beating up those potatoes? They're just gone. What happened? <laughs> they just left. <laughs> they didn't want to hang out anymore. <laughs> Do you know what bugs me? Sorry, I'm just looking at this really nice bowl. That's like a toddler swimming pool or something. That's not a bowl. I see it now. That's giant. <laughs> That's a big bowl. <laughs> They're gonna put the mashed this potatoes is, in there. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, buddy. It took us three days to make that potato salad. <laughs> three days. Three days. To make that. Where are you going? There's boxes. You can't. I actually don't know where them. I'm going. I feel like I'm following you. But, like. You are? <laughs> not enough. <laughs> <laughs> Can I also talk? Can you? Or are you hitting square? <laughs> She's like, where's your partner? Oh. Dude, do it. I I can't do it. <laughs> okay. I heard there were two of you. That was weird. Your partner. <clears throat> Dude, you're both here. Come. This guy will never be important again. No. Other than giving us our guns. <laughs> He was the introduction, sometimes you have to push the button at the same time. Because <laughs> that's teamwork. Is that really what we were supposed to do? Yeah. Because oh. I don't know if, like, I was standing in the room and you pushed square and he was like, there's supposed to be two. <laughs> Where's the other one? It's just like, right here. <laughs> he has a nice shop. No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's a nice briefcase. Just trying to make conversation. It's, it's a nice briefcase. Oh, at least we only need one person to open that. <laughs> That's mine. Why can't we take that? The the thing. The vest? Yeah. I think we can. Oh. I don't think we can. I don't think we can either. Maybe you'll put it on in a second? I don't think I will. No? No, I think that we had to buy it or oh, something. Oh, is that it? Oh, yeah, that's it. Destination. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. There. I love the fact that you're, we're... you're a little bit more protected than me now, <laughs> as you would be. I think you have, like, a tiny backpack or something. Everybody knows that as a woman, when you go into combat, you want to be wearing as little as possible. <laughs> the Resident Evil creators certainly think so. <laughs> I think it's a, mostly a video game problem. That is also true. Have you ever seen, like, Bayonetta? But to be fair, I think Bayonetta's supposed to be like that. Like, it's, it's a look, right? And she rocks it. Yeah. I, th I think Shiva's one of those character designs where it's just like, well... We can make her hot. <laughs> Do you know that Bayonetta's two-player? I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, I saw it in another video from someone else. I'm really gonna have to get used to being left-handed. I'm gonna have to as well. I'm gonna have to get used to not wasting my ammo and like shooting crates and oh, stuff. Oh, that's true. Because I got so used to just using the shotgun to shoot things. Oh yeah, don't you remember, uh... Hmm. You know, Resident Evil allows you to I'm just look at random things. I always thought that was the most fun thing. Um, yeah, yeah. One thing that I do find really frustrating about this game is if you compare it to Resident Evil 4, how long it takes to pull your knife out, use it, and put it away. Yeah. I also hate how long it takes to turn around. Like, if you remember Resident Evil 4, it was like, bam, right there. Turn around. And I, feel like, and I feel like that just made it, like, it's a much more tight game, right? The shooting's a little bit tighter, the movements are a little bit tighter. 
And I think that is probably just because it's a one-player game. Are you saying Resident Evil 4 is tighter? Yeah, I think Resident yeah. Evil 1, 4 plays a lot tighter than Resident Evil 5, even though they're basically the same game mechanically. Well, Resident Evil 4 also took place in, like, small corridors and mm. awesome Yeah, yeah, but there were open castles. sections, too. There were, except... And even, is... even in those sections, you still, like... You could tell the game was, like, made for enemies to come certain ways. Yeah. There was, there was room to strategize with the map. I really don't feel that with Resident Evil 5. I think it's a lot more see something, shoot Not something. Sure that you Oops. <laughs> well, I got this plant. <laughs> That's cool, I have one, too. Can we climb? I, uh... No, they're too, to? they're too green. Why would we even do that? Um, I don't know. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fan of all all herbs in these games. I think they're cool. I'm eh. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. All right, get ready for this. Get ready for this. Get ready for something. I'll follow you because you've played through this game exactly like maybe two or three more times. Yeah, I played through this game two or three more times and didn't even realize that the vest inside of that <laughs> <laughs> was the vest that Chris wears. <laughs> I think it goes to show that even though I've played a lot of the games featured on the channel a lot, I still don't know anything about them, or I just tend to forget everything. To be fair, knowing that the vest is there is, like, maybe the least important thing in the entire game. <laughs> it's the most important thing. I failed. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. We'll, we'll get everything else, I'm sure. I wouldn't even be able to get that down. I would just throw it up. I like how they just freeze. <laughs> Stop shoving that alien inside them. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, okay, I guess they... Ultra scary. They just left it? That's kind of messed up. It's also kind of weird that they, like, freeze, and then they walk out and they're like, alright, that's cool too. <laughs> Not to mention what everyone else says while, uh, watching this game or playing it, but why would Chris just walk up and ask if that person's okay when he's clearly seen this type of stuff before? Yeah. And he's also read the Kennedy Files. Mm hmm So, what the heck? <laughs> oh my god, he's jacked. <laughs> <That> was, <laughs> we, we've been over this. Chris I, is very. I, dude, I can't. Like, I've never taken a good look at it. I just. I saw, like, the side of his arm, like, his bicep. Like, right there! Look at that! That's like a full, like. It's like the. Oh! <laughs> Kick! Hang on. Good job. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Africa, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Get wrecked. Oh, he's not dead yet. <laughs> he is now. <laughs> what the hell just happened? That was awesome. <laughs> I don't think we could have handled that more professionally. <laughs> and we saved ammo. We did. Very important in this game. Oh, ammo. <laughs> Very convenient. How oh. convenient. Wait. I'm coming. Yo, what's up? <laughs> Yo. Come on. Hey. Roger. What? Oh, <laughs> I responded. Roger. Oh, this is the part where I think that we just have to run. Like, hmm. they show up from one of these oh. corners or something. Is this, uh... Uh-oh. Over there? Yeah, they show up from there. And so we just want to run away. Hmm. And, you know, be all... I think I was going the right way. Be all normal-ish and stuff. I think it's too late for that. Yo, hold up. Yeah? Yeah. Ooh, chickens. Yeah, kill them. What happened? Oh. They drop eggs. You know what? Maybe we should just leave. And eh, we got time. There Do we? we? No. <laughs> <laughs> I got a coup I gotta I gotta swipe on a couple of them. I wasted one ammo bullet <laughs> trying to kill a chicken. The locals were hostile and we had I will kill those chickens. I like how I like how that's all it took. Like a whole mob of people on the game's just like yeah, I'll hold them. Oh, you can combine them. I can. Oh, you already did. Cool. Yep. Let me say this. Two people could kick this door in. I, uh, I can definitely appreciate the inventory system here as opposed to the one in Resident Evil 6, which is just god-awful. Yeah. I never got to do a proper... Play through the campaign, but I know we did mercenaries, and that was. It is frustrating. Well, it's a like it's the one thing the game does worse, which is weird because it's a Resident Evil game. Like normally, yeah. Resident Evil games like have to have good inventories, because you know the game's all about puzzles and. That drops nothing, and you just killed a poor defenseless rat. 
it, so dro- it drops money. Well, who mind. got 50 gold? Oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Touche. <laughs> Clearly, I, as mentioned before, don't know anything about this game. <laughs> hey, there's some ammo here. I already took two, so I figured that you should get them. Thanks. See? That's fucking teamwork. Now, now I want to take one. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Let's how's do your, this. How's your ammo? Do we have the same amount? Yeah, I believe so. Well, I wasted two bullets, but that's it. I wasted two bullets because I was trying to reload and I shot. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could say that doesn't happen to us all, but it totally does. It really does. Not even in this game, just in like any game that you're just starting out yeah. with again. My thing is, like, I, I, reload? I reload way too much. Whoops. Uh, I don't think that there's a such thing. Mm. I think it's always good to have like do you a want, lot do you want of this? Ammo. What? There was a green herb in an ammo suit outside. Oh, yeah, you should go get those then. Sure. Actually, we should barricade this first. <laughs> Alright, so... Wait a minute, we're in a barricade section already? Yeah. What? You can't do that. Well, they're trying to do the thing from Resident Evil 4, the chainsaw guy. But that was, like, in the middle of, a, in the middle of like, the first part. Yeah. And it made sense. Yeah. Welcome to Resident Evil 5. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's that guy. Yeah, I told you he wouldn't be important. How did he even get caught? I don't know. Why is he speaking English? It's also a good question. So do you want to try and kill that or no? Because I don't think we're going to be able to... I don't think just... we have the weapons for it, man. I don't think we do either. <laughs> I wonder what happens if you shoot it in the face. That's like El Salvador, but like makes less sense and isn't cool. And on a lot of steroids and really into acupuncture. Also too big. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of things in this game that are just too big, I'm finding. There's also a lot of- What?! <laughs> like, like his vision. <laughs> Especially with the sunglasses on, man, we would've been so tinted. <laughs> can we kill that guy? We can try. Yeah, let's first barricade and collect all the stuff inside this room. Also, uh, fun fact, if you break open fruit, you get money. Sounds just like, like in real life. Now this sounds like a job for me. Just like real life. Yeah. Okay, uh, you should go push the other... Can just make sure we got everything? Mm-hmm! <laughs> Whoops! How do I block... Is it this door I need to block, or do you have it? I blocked both. Oh, they don't come out this way? No. Kinda seems like a... <laughs> yeah, like, why not just walk around, right? Oh, dude, I have 59 bullets. I, I hang, have... hang on, wait. How do I... Yeah, here we go. Uh... Oh, wait. I just got some, so come it's here. no big deal. Oh, okay, never mind. Basically, this part's literally just surviving anyways. And also, this is like the end- uh, we're approaching the, uh, the end of the first part. Are we really? Yeah, we are. That was quick. I know. I'm glad. Yeah, me too. <laughs> not that I'll I'm be, not, not no. that I'm enjoying this, but it's like, it's good to know, like, when checkpoints are. Burn! Oh, they got in? Uh, yeah, the one does. Ooh, that's nice. Get him. Strip <laughs> Oh, I see you trying to walk through my window. I could not imagine what it's like to be punched by Chris Redfield. It's probably like just... It's probably... It's, it's like getting a knuckle sandwich from God. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fun fact. The second... Motherfucker just pushed it open without opening the door. Oh, I got hit. That's cheating. Okay, how did you access your invent... Never mind. Trying... Alright, you look kind of overwhelmed-ish. No, I'm good. No? They were nice enough to give me time to walk away. <laughs> oh, got him. Oh, that guy's not happy. Got him. Wow, nice one. Dude, these guys pop head- If you get like a headshot or two, their heads just pop. I thought you were gonna say, these guys pop heads like no one's business. <laughs> <laughs> and by these men, I mean Shiba. <laughs> oh, hello. Now they're in from the ceiling. Oh, here's dynamite. Who does? Somebody in the ceiling, I thought. Uh, I think it's the- oh, oh! We're in trouble. <laughs> Thank you. We're so gonna hear that in video. Hey, okay. you should heal. I got it. I got this, baby, don't uh -oh. worry. Don't worry. Bye. Yeah, you should, like- What, is there- oh, he's here? I see. Oh, yeah, he's here. Oh, there's the guy! No! Get out of my way! <laughs> Dude, I stomped out that guy who saw us. Oh wait, he's not dead. Oh hey, what's up? <laughs> Teamwork. Uh oh. Hey, you should run! Ow. Hey, you should run now. Thank you. 
It's gonna be really embarrassing if we die. <laughs> um. Yeah. Oh, punch it! Somersault! <laughs> what? That was ridiculous. Oh my goodness, we so need to do that again. That was awesome. Um. Here, hold up. Get that one guy away from us. Oh, I tried. Oh! Oh, my fire! What happened? Uh, I threw a grenade. <laughs> I was just like, I was just shooting this guy, and next thing I know, the fruit stand's falling around my eye, my ears. <laughs> Dude, I don't think we can kill him. I think we should just run. Is it on a timer like Resident Evil 4? It is on a timer like Resident Evil Dude, this way. Yo, oh. dude, no, get over here. There's her. Yo. Never mind, I'll come to you. Uh, why are you going? I'm betraying you. <laughs> don't leave. Stay close. Where is the uh, big guy? Down there. Down. Get out of here. Jesus. I felt good because I didn't even have to do anything. Where is Hammer Bro? What's up with this? He's uh, down there. I saw him wandering around. Hammer Bro? <laughs> Axe Bro. <laughs> no, I know what you meant. I was going to do it. <laughs> I think we both. I'm not going to lie. I think we shot it at the exact same time. You I son of a bitch. A, dude, there's money and I'm greedy and yeah. Oh. No. Yeah, I have no idea where Axe Bro went. Mm, I bet he's. I found him! <laughs> oh, shoot, shoot him in his face. Um, oh! We got him. <laughs> Combo! Oh my goodness, if we just. Oh, jeez, jeez, jeez. No, no! Where are you? Sir! Back down! Back to where we were! <laughs> that sucks. You should just come get me! Instead of shooting! Ah! Uh, I'm sorry, I know- Well, I'm dead! No, you're not! I'm ah. pretty sure I am! Goodbye, world! Goodbye, world! Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Why does that happen every single time? I'm sorry. Chris! <laughs> Look at his face in the blood! <laughs> it's, it's going through the- What?! <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen this! I don't think you ever- I don't think we ever died in this part. I never have. Oh, man. Dude, I need to point something you out. Can, you can buy stuff. It would. We'll do that in between. Videos. Oh, that's a good idea. Um. Oh, come on. Well, the checkpoint was like 15 minutes ago. All right, I'll get all the stuff. You <laughs> <laughs> sound so upset. No, I'm just. No, I'm good. Okay, I need to point one thing out. I just out. thought it was funny that like every single time that I play this game with someone, and if I'm hurt, and I go, "You should heal me," they immediately resort to shooting people. <laughs> <laughs> and then going. I was, I was far away, man. I didn't mean anything by it. You were like. I up, went. I went. You were like up five stairs. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, Axe Guy was there, and oh, you son of a. Oh, that's you. <laughs> I, trust me, I know he was there. He was the one who. Sh he, he was the one who killed me. <laughs> he was the guy that put you on dying. He didn't kill you. That's true. A horde of zombies killed me. <laughs> she was like one dude in a red shirt. <laughs> yeah, but it was. An, I'm not but saying they, they didn't kill you. I'm just saying. Then they had to stop me out. Uh, I'm pretty sure Chris just drowned in his own blood. He could have lived. I tried to do that away from the camera so it doesn't make sounds, but you know, sometimes it's just tough. Can I like kick them while they're down? Is that messed up? <laughs> Dude, we started the first person we killed in this game. We fucking stabbed to death. Hey, they knocked down the other thingy. Oh, yeah? Oh! Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> I think I got it. Yeah, you really need to love it when we both kill someone. Yeah, don't worry about it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, God! I really need to remember that I need to uh, get away. Well, that's not way. You good. There's one. Got it. Just you get <laughs> I appreciate it. it was like the coolest thing I could think of. It's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Shut what? Uh-oh. Uh we have an issue. Is he uh here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is. We got this. Just keep him in here, there's nobody else here. Oh. Watch him! Boop! Boom! Oh, never mind! I didn't hit it! I think we should just unload on him, honestly. But you can. 
I'll be here in case you need me. Okay. Hey, I think you need me. No, that's fine. I'll keep the zombies out. I accidentally said, come here. Ooh, got him. Do we might actually... Ah, uh, there's a lot of zombies in here, man. I think I ran the wrong way. I think you did too. I ran the wrong way, Oh, that's brother. okay. He's after me. Oh, he's being helpful. Oh, no. Oh, come get me. Come get me. Come get me. <laughs> ah! Did you get away? Yeah, you're good. <laughs> okay. You know, just in he's a actually, scary... He's still coming for you, actually. In a scary situation. He's kind of just beating on these guys. No. <laughs> Where are you? I'm uh, I'm lost. Wait, I'm coming. You should. Oh yeah, oh, there, there he is. is. <laughs> <laughs> Can you? Hey, that dude in the red shirt again. He, he's really coming after you. Oh, he's really no! coming after you. <laughs> You're on your own. He's I, still coming after you. I got him, run. <laughs> you can cover me while I reload. Never mind. Just... Dude, these people in red shirts really don't like me. <laughs> it's just not your color. Oh, it's Speaker Dude. This Speaker Dude. That's not Speaker Dude. <laughs> I punched the wrong guy. <laughs> nice. Hello. Yeah, you should always hit the guy off. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. So, I assume that if we both get hit, we're like totally screwed. Oh, we'd be so dead. <laughs> we wouldn't be able to help each other. Yeah. Then it's just complete game over. That's okay. Axe guy's after me, so I think you're fine. Huh. Ah. Dude, speaker guy needs to die. Finish him. <laughs> he always needs to die. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my goodness, it looked like his head blew up. You just punched a bunch of melons. <laughs> Roundhouse kid. Uh, Who's Kurt? Shablamo. That's probably like the helicopter guy. Oh, right. The random, un like, y named but you never see him helicopter guy in every Resident Evil. Uh, yeah. Exactly that. Like Mike in Resident Evil 4 and... Yeah, I love Leon's response when Mike dies too. Mike! We're gonna get a beer! <laughs> I always liked you! <laughs> oh god. Oh god! <laughs> What is that? I'm trying to kill- I couldn't find the exact spot where you can, like, jump across. Dude, Axe Boy's just at the top of the stairs. Like, I don't think he knows where he is anymore. That's because he's falling- like, I jump across and he can't jump after me, so he's like, oh. <laughs> that makes it sound really sad. Oh, he's up on the roof! Yeah. Wait, you're, you're hitting him. Okay. I got him. For now. There's a lot of angry people down here. That's not good! Yeah, I need to get up to where you be. You have no idea- Actually, just hop down. Just hop down from there. I should. You should just turn around and jump down, because I'm like right down here. And I don't know where Axe Boy went. Ooh. Ooh. It'd be nice to kill him. He is coming down the stairs again. That's cool. To your left, so watch out. Oh no, never mind, he's coming for me again. Where the heck is- Oh, he's up there. Punch him! I'm gonna throw this grenade. Yeah, this is tough. This is really tough. Uh... Hello. That did nothing. Um... Where are you? Yeah, it's definitely not the same as unlimited ammo, huh? Mm -mm. It's also really hard to know when. This oh, I'm gonna I might need you. I need you. Where will you be? I see you. I be dead. No, you're not. Just keep moving. No, I'm dead. Just keep moving. I'm dead. Just keep moving. I'm dead. I can do it. Heal. Run! <laughs> <laughs> oh I didn't think you would make it. Oh, I didn't think so either. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I think happened? I think, I think like, I pulled out the thing to heal you, and in that, like, short moment, I was invincible. Thank goodness! And, and like, his, his axe went right through you. Where is he? He's just standing there. He's right. <laughs> he's just <laughs> looking at me, he's just... Menacingly! <laughs> what do you think he's, what do you think he's thinking? I think he's about to turn around and come for me. Never mind, he's just hitting shit. I think he's trying to get up to the roof. Oh, Dude, I think one more punch and he'll be dead. There will never be enough punches to kill that fucking thing. It can't be a professor enough. Dude, you Grr! surrounded. Run! Thanks. Dude, look at my screen. <laughs> <laughs> They're all over the floor. You got surrounded. Okay. Dang it. <laughs> that was that was good. We wasted two grenades trying to kill him. I almost called him Ike. Who's this guy's name? <laughs> Eric? 
Kirk! Kirk, help us. Take cover. I thought you were talking about the monster for a second. No, no. I thought you were like, dude, Ike with yeah. his giant axe tried yeah. to kill us? Yeah, you know that famous African warlord Ike. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We've made that mistake before, too. We've definitely made the mistake of laying the controller on the table. It's okay. We're all here for a good time. Yeah, of course. And speaking of good times, this good time is about to come to an end. Like now? Yeah, oh. like right now, but... Makes sense, it is. Check that out. A plus... What? 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 Oh, right. Yeah, it won't say that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, awesome. We hope that you guys have enjoyed the first episode of Resident Evil 5. I know I did. Yeah, I did, too. It's... It is so much different playing without... Yeah. 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 Without, without, the without, without basically round. cheating? Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> I forgot what it was like, because I only ever played through the game once <laughs> with normal stuff. But yeah, there you guys go. We hope that you enjoyed, and peace out. See you guys.